All right, this is my Sanoa G320RC. There is nothing wrong with it. I just went uh, with this rebuild kit by DDM. It's the, uh, your Sanoa G320 comes with a 28 millimeter uh, crank. Okay, this is the 28. And the this is the uh, modified kit. It's the 30, 30 millimeter. So the uh, crank and this is a little bit two millimeters longer so it makes your piston come out further out so then you need another cylinder with them with the inside uh dremeled in further in so that your pist your other piston doesn't hit so your rebuilt kit comes with a new crank okay like that and it comes with a new cylinder bigger cylinder on the inside for the stroke and you also get the crank with the longer sleeve with the two millimeter extra and here's the package that it comes in so you end up having a 34 cc so it's the upgraded kit for the Zenova G320 RC all right so I still have this, this still works. I just took it apart to show you on this video how I do my porting. And I got a little uh, paper that I drawn the exhaust and the intake. And real quick, I wanted to show you where, what areas I removed material to increase the power on this uh, motor. So what I do, this is your exhaust, right? This is the bottom part and this is the top. On the exhaust part, or on the exhaust section, you want to remove material at the top, okay? Either with, uh, uh, if you have a Dremel tool or any sort of, uh, that you can get this taken care of. And on the intake, you wanna do it the bottom. So exhaust is the top, the intake is the bottom. So by doing these two little mods, you get a little extra power. All right, so my previous videos, I've shown how to do it, but now I'm gonna be a little bit more specific. And you've seen the before and after, and you can see my truck, crazy power, okay? So, so if you wanna get something like that done, I'll show you right here in this video. So let's go with the exhaust, all right? So this is the exhaust. Here's the uh, cylinder. This is the exhaust. The bottom one is the intake. So like I said, on the intake side, you always wanna do the bottom section. And on the exhaust, you wanna do the top. Already got one cut in half. This is the one that seized up on me. Cause the, uh, right here, this little fence here got uh, grass and dirt stuck. So the air wasn't flowing through. So that's caused my engine to uh, seize up. And you can see where it seized up at the uh, piston ring. So this is the exhaust. On the exhaust, like I said, you want to cut the top. Just a tiny bit. You don't want to go crazy. If you go too much, then your motor is going to be weak. Okay? And also on the intake, you, you trim off this a little bit. If you go too much, you're going to uh, cause the engine to suck up a lot of fuel and oil. And then it's going to sputter back out into your intake. So you don't want that. You're going to mess it up. So you don't wanna go crazy, just a tiny bit. Any tiny bit makes a huge difference, guys. So let me show you. So here we go. And also, you see all them part section shoes that I grind off? It's because I smoothed it out. So just by looking at this video here, what I've done, is what you wanna do. Okay. 
same thing on the other one. See, I think went too crazy just a little bit. Just smooth it out. All right. Because what you want to do is when you have this here, this is your cylinder. When you do part matching, you grab one half of your crank and bolt it to your cylinder. And then line it up. Okay. So once you line it up, you can see where you need to grind off material to match. Okay. All you want to do is just kind of smooth this out. Smooth this out. Smooth this little here. Smooth here. And then go around here and smooth it out. Okay. And that's it. You do the other one. Smooth out this. It doesn't have to be polished or nothing. Right? Just make the airflow smooth. That's all you want. So if you see any rough edges, smooth it out with your Dremel. Make sure to cover the bearing. You don't want any uh, aluminum filings there. Cover it with some tape. Or if you do happen to get some filings in there, just use some brake cleaner and then use some oil to lube it up and you should be fine. Okay, so once you get these two grind off a little bit, then uh, you start doing your cylinder head. Right here on this rough edge, you normally have like a flat surface. You wanna round this to a 45 degree angle, as you see here in the video. See how I did this little corner there? Rounded it off a little bit. Same here. 45, 45. And then inside here, there's some caps. You remove these caps and you, uh, there's a middle, in the middle, there's like a little piece that is kind of uh, flat. You want to round that off a little bit. So you want, if you see through here, it looks uh, smooth. Okay, same thing on the other side. And once you're done with that, then you want to start doing your uh, to increase the uh, power on this uh, cylinder by, I'm about to show you in this uh, picture drawing that I did. So on your exhaust, this outer line right here, this inner line right here is, let's say it's the stock, right? Cut out. And the thick blue ink that you see here, so from here to here, it's a very tiny bit of material. The blue represents the material I'm removing at this top exhaust. So you wanna grind off that much. Okay, so from, from here to here, that's how much you wanna remove. Um, you don't wanna remove too much. If you, if you, let's say if you remove from this line and you remove, let's say, like about let's say up to there or something then you're gonna lose uh power less rpm let's say if you leave it like that this you get you get rid of and you leave it to here the opening gets bigger so from from top that center to here you have less compression so the longer from here to here it is the more compression you have but also if you do too much, you damage the motor. Yeah, you lose power. So you just want to do tiny, a tiny section of the material remove at your upper uh, exhaust right here. Same thing with your intake. This is your stock line right here and your intake. All you want to do is just a tiny bit, remove a little tiny bit of material and follow the curve. Always follow the curve. Don't make, don't go down, don't grind down here and make it flat like that. You don't want to go down and make it flat. You want to keep this shape. So just remove slightly down here and then the, the more you go in the middle, you want to remove a little tiny more, just a tiny bit. See the, the tip of the pin? That's how, that's how thick the line is. So just a tiny bit, tiny bit. 
You don't need to go a lot, just a tiny bit. Um, so once you remove that a little tiny bit, and a tiny bit at the top of the exhaust, you're gonna notice a huge difference in power. It may not look a lot of material to remove, but it is a lot of power that you're gonna gain from doing this simple mod here at the top of the exhaust and at the bottom of the uh, intake.